going to be a busy Thanksgiving morning in downtown Greenville. You'll see hundreds of runners taking on the Turkey Day 8K. 7 News' is Jennifer Martin live in Greenville at Floor Field with that story. Good morning, Jennifer. Hey, good morning, Fred. And yes, you can expect all of those runners uh, or many of them to be wearing capes and costumes. A lot of people like to get dressed up for this fun event. And, but heads up, there will be some road closures here. So basically, you won't be able to get anywhere around downtown Greenville starting at about 745 this morning to 1030. Um, so we're already seeing some road closures next to us here at Markley and Anderson off of South Main. But I've got someone here with me. This is Joelle Tichy and she is the executive director of Trees Upstate because that's who's putting on this race. Welcome. Thank Thanks. you so much for joining me rushing Thanks. over here. <laughs> so uh, can you tell us what is so ex uh, exciting about this race? It's, it's the biggest in the upstate you were saying. It is, yeah. Well, I think the most exciting part is that we've grown to over 5,000 people. It's a huge festive event, so we've got a lot of groups of family and friends that come out to start off their day with us for our annual Turkey Day. Uh, but the best part is that the race benefits Trees Upstate. So without this race, we would not be able to do everything that we do. And for those who don't know, what you do is you put trees uh, up uh, throughout our community, schools, neighborhoods, right? That's correct. So we are a nonprofit founded in 2005. Our mission is super simple, plant, promote, protect trees. So this race gives us the funding that we need to plant 800 plus trees each year in park schools and neighborhoods throughout the upstate. And a lot of people sign up last minute for this race because they're trying to burn some calories before they eat a lot of food. So um, they can come here where we're standing at 630, right? 630 to 730 to register. That's correct. We're set up on the concourse inside floor field at the West End, also known as Drive Stadium. But from 630 to 730 AM, mm -hmm. they can come and sign up for the 8K or the 5K. OK, and uh, again, the 5K starts at 805 and the 8K is 820. Flip it around. Oh, flip it so around, the sorry. 8K, <laughs> the 8K starts at 8:05, okay. and the 5K starts at 8:20. Okay. So and then you, there's the top trot. Got to get the uh, achievers, <laughs> the high achievers, out of the way. Yeah, oh. we start the longer course first. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. And then anything people should bring with them if they're planning to come last minute. No, no. Just bring <laughs> well, your, maybe their turkey costumes. Their turkey bring costumes. Their turkey bring costume. those, and then if uh, it's going to be really cute because the, all of the kids that are uh, per, uh, participating in the tot mm -hmm. race at 7:45 are going to be wearing capes, right? That's right. We've <laughs> got about 200 kids already signed up for the tot trot. Super oh cute. Gosh. They've all got these little red capes, Aww. and uh, yeah, we're about to see a lot of turkeys and pilgrims dressed up, and and luckily the winner of the costume contest actually gets a pair of running shoes oh. this year. Well, from Fleet go. Feet. Thank you so much, Joel. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind when you're driving around downtown Greenville that you want to kind of steer clear of this area because there are going to be a lot of road closures until about 10:30. Back to you, Fred and Christine. All right, Jennifer. Thank you.